Well, good day again. It's Ed here with another message from Holborn and Gospel Hall. I'm well dressed this morning because I've just come in from our church service on Sunday. Um, this time of year, we're normally preparing for our carol service in Duthie Park. We normally have a carol service in the Winter Gardens in Duthie Park. But unfortunately, this year, it's not going to be possible. Um, but we are going to have a drive-in carol service up at Balmoral Group, up beside Ikea, at 3 o'clock on Sunday, the 20th of December. So if you're able to come there, it would be lovely. I love Christmas. I love singing carols. And I'm so disappointed that this year we won't be able to sing carols together. Because even at our drive-in carol service, what we will be doing is playing carols to everyone and they can sing individually within the car. But I love singing carols and I would love to sing them at this time of year. But I also love carols because they tell the message of Christmas. And you can walk through the Christmas message just with some carols. So for example, with While Shepherds Watched, we can read, While shepherds watched their flocks by night, all seated on the ground, the angel of the Lord came down, and glory shone around. Fear not, said he, for mighty dread had seized their troubled minds. Glad tidings of great joy I bring to you and all mankind. To you in David's town this day is born of David's line, the Saviour who is Christ the Lord, and this shall be the sign. The heavenly babe you there shall find to human view displayed, all mainly wrapped in swaddling bands and in a manger laid. Thus spake the seraph, and forthwith appeared a shining throng of angels praising God who thus addressed their joyful song. All glory be to God on high and to the earth be peace. Good will henceforth from heaven to men begin and never cease. And what does it refer to? It refers back to the Bible where it tells us in Luke chapter 2 verse 10. Then the angel said to them, do not be afraid for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be for all people. For there is born for you this day in the city of David, a saviour who is Christ the Lord. And there are many carols that would tell us the message of the Lord Jesus Christ coming to earth on Christmas. It, some of the other ones, like angels from the realms of glory, also speak about the shepherds. Shepherds in the fields abiding, watching o'er your flocks by night. God with man is now residing. Yonder shines the infant light. Come and worship. Worship Christ, the newborn king. And what does it say? It says God with man is now residing. It tells us that the Lord Jesus Christ came to earth at Christmas as a baby, but he was God. God come down into human form and come to this earth and the carols would tell us why he came it says that in Luke chapter 2 as we read born to you this day in the city of David a saviour who is Christ the Lord it tells us why he was born that he would save his people from their sin another favourite of mine is a little town of Bethlehem because Jesus was born in Bethlehem and as we heard last time I spoke that Joseph had to go back to Bethlehem because he was the line of David and for the census he had to go back to the town where his family were from. So he went to Bethlehem. And in, term, in the little town of Bethlehem, it says, O little town of Bethlehem, how still we see thee lie. Above thy deep and dreamless sleep the silent stars go by. Yet in thy dark street shineth the everlasting light. The hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight. The Jews had been waiting for the Messiah for a long time. The Bible is silent for almost 600 years between the end <clears throat> of the Old Testament and the start of the New Testament when it tells us about Jesus coming to earth. And their hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight was the Lord Jesus come, Christ coming to earth. But it tells us further on how silently, how silently the wondrous gift of given. We give gifts at Christmas. And they're a symbol of the gift that God gave us through his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. It says, so God imparts to human hearts the blessings of his heaven. No ear may hear his coming, but in this world of sin, where meek souls will receive him still, the dear Christ enters in. It tells us also in the carols that this is a world of sin. 
We can see the bad things that happen in this world, all the terrible things that man does to man, and that was not God's plan when he created man. He wanted us to live in peace, and he sent his son at Christmas that we might have the greatest gift, but also that we might have forgiveness for our sins. Where meek souls will receive him still, the dear Christ enters in. It's amazing at Christmas to spend time together. It's amazing at Christmas to sing these carols. And it's amazing that through the carols, we can read of and listen to why God sent his people, his son, the Lord Jesus Christ, to us. Another favourite of mine is Hark the Herald Angels Sing. We spend a lot of time at Christmas thinking of the angels and the angels were sent as messengers to tell us what God was doing. Hark the Herald Angels Sing, Glory to the Newborn King, Peace on Earth and Mercy Mild, God and Sinners Reconciled. The only way that we can be reconciled to God is to admit that we are sinners and to say that we need salvation through the Lord Jesus Christ. It then says, Joyful all ye nations rise, join the triumph of the skies, with the angelic host proclaim, Christ is born in Bethlehem. Hail the heaven-born Prince of Peace, hail the Son of Righteousness, light and life to all he brings, risen with healing in his wings. Mild he lays his glory by, by, born that man no more may die, born to raise the sons of earth, born to give them second birth. He has come and he has laid aside the glory of being the son of God and come into this world to be born of a virgin in Bethlehem and to come and bring salvation to us. He's born that man no more may die. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, his son. Born to raise the sons of earth, born to give them se second birth. Christmas is a wonderful time. Christmas is the time that we remember that God gave the greatest gift ever. And hopefully, as you listen to carols over this time, you will listen to the words of them and you realise that they tell the story, not just of the Lord Jesus Christ's birth, not just of the shepherds and the wise men and the angels, but they tell of why the Lord Jesus Christ was sent to this earth, to reconcile us back to God, to give us the opportunity of a second birth, that we might be able to put our trust in him because he died for us. And another favourite of mine is joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let earth receive her king. Let every heart prepare him room and heaven and nature sing. And we just pray that every heart over Christmas would prepare room for the Lord Jesus Christ. There was no room for him in the inn when he came at Bethlehem, but there should be room in our hearts for him. If we realise that we cannot be reconciled to God because we are sinners, but through the Lord Jesus Christ, we can be reconciled to him. And that was the purpose of his coming at Christmas. We hope you're enjoying these messages each week. And for those of you that are in Aberdeen, it would be lovely to see you at our drive-in carol service at 3 p.m. at Balmoral, up beside Ikea, in the car park. We'll have stewards and we'll have a banner so that you can see where we are. And it would be lovely to see you there and to enjoy these carols that we can't enjoy in the same way that we would normally at this time of year. God bless.